I was having a great conversation with a client by the name of Mark, and we were talking about the power of words. And I wanted to run a couple exercises by you and see what you think about the power of words. When we're looking at words, I don't think we fully comprehend how powerful they are in regards to directing the way that we think. The easiest illustration I can give you, and if you've heard me on my public podcast, CoachRobPodcast.com, you've heard me say, don't think about a pink cow with black spots. Don't think about a pink cow with black spots. What's so powerful about that illustration, as soon as your, your brain hears the word don't, it does the exact opposite. So when we're in a sporting environment, when we're in a high pressure environment at work or at school giving a presentation and somebody whispers in your ear, don't stutter, don't repeat yourself, don't whatever the it may be, right? Do you see how the brain immediately goes right after what you asked it not to do? This is what's so powerful about mental rehearsal. I've got quite a few skills, uh, skills videos. I've got different skills and drills that we like to have our clients do to make sure that your mental muscle is strengthening on point with your physical adaptation and improvement. But when we're looking at the power of the words that we utilize, this is where it's so incredibly important that you learn to turn off the left side of your brain, the logical side, and engage the right side of your brain, which is the creative side especially when it's coming to optimum performance. Again, it could be at school, it could be at work, it could be in an athletic performance environment, but this is where mental rehearsal comes in so incredibly powerful. For all the men and women that serve this great country, on behalf of myself, my family, and all my subscribers, we say a sincere thank you. When the military personnel hit the ground, they've already mentally rehearsed exactly where they're gonna go, and exactly what the task is to be done, and they execute it in autopilot. Literally, that right brain takes over. It's rehearsed until it's automated. It's automated until it's executed and the task is complete. And that's what I want you to be thinking about in this video here today. When you understand the power of words, don't think about a pink cow with black spots. And I could get you to focus more on visualizing what the desirable outcome is. When they say, don't repeat yourself, don't stutter, that's not gonna help you as much as visualizing yourself, close, go someplace quiet, lay down, and just walk through your presentation. Go lay down, focus on executing your event start to finish. Now, if you're doing something like a triathlon, particularly an Ironman that's eight hours, I'm not asking you to visualize eight hours, but you need to go through the course of the event as to where, you, where and what would your approach be if you're in first, 15th, or 50th? What's your line choice gonna be? What's your strategy gonna be in the swim, the bike, and the run? Whatever sport you're doing isn't what's important. It's about literally creating a mental imagery of success no matter where you're at. If you're a pitcher and bases are loaded and you've got a full count, how are you gonna get out of it? If you're the batter, full count, bases loaded, what's your strategy? How are you gonna handle that? Think about the individuals that are in the Olympics. How many times have they rehearsed? How much do they try to emulate that situation to be able to handle the pressure? And that's what I want you to think about here today. Mentally rehearse what you want to complete. Think about all the nuances and what it's gonna to take to be successful. Visualize it, practice it, practice it, visualize it, visualize it, dream it, dream it, execute it. I know that may sound a little bit fluffy initially, but when you see the power of words, don't think about a pink cow with black spots. You'll start to see the power of visualization, hopefully from a slightly different perspective. I want to encourage you, if you have a question, we're answering a question every day here on YouTube. I would encourage you to send it directly to me at contact at coachrob.com. As I mentioned, we're doing a video every day here on YouTube, so please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications. That way you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.